Hey everybody, uh, Dan Fitzpatrick here at stockmarketmentor.com. Uh, just a quick video today on um, IBIT, as I call it, the iShares Bitcoin Trust, BlackRock, the big dog. Um, this is the one that gets most of the action on the Bitcoin front. Now, first of all, Scott McGregor, who's a, the crypto king, like this guy's a monster, he knows so much. Um, he held a, it's, it was basically a come one, come all, uh, workshop on crypto this morning, and he just absolutely crushed it. So if you didn't get that, if you didn't get that, uh, have access to it or get the recording, um, you can get it. Uh, just go to our website. In fact, probably the best way to get it, frankly, is to email Karen at stockmarketmentor.com. She's my assistant, and she can uh, she can get you that. But it's a really, really good um workshop and it, it really was a workshop on crypto and more than just the chart so you should definitely check that out but with that said now um i want to look at uh the bitcoin trust here and the one thing you should notice about it other than the volatility is it is super gappy it just you know cl closes here and then the next morning it, it opens up two percent more or here uh, closes here the next morning, it opens up 3% or this one. I mean, it's ridiculous. It opens up four or 5%, same thing here. And so it makes it very difficult for you to be managing risk. If you're just trading the, uh, the Bitcoin trust, if you're just trading it, I think the better way to do it is through position size. Um, and also, uh, I'm going to go ahead and stop this because I just thought about something. I want to pull something up. Okay, there. Um, the better way to trade it, in my view, is to just be tracking Bitcoin. Now, Bitcoin uh, trades 24-7. And so that's the underlying reason why uh, the Bitcoin trust is going to be gappy because there's a whole lot of time between 4 in the afternoon and 9.30 the next morning. And that's when Bitcoin continues to, uh, you know, continues to trade. So I think you can really take your cue as far as trading um, IBIT, as again, as I call it. I think you can really take your cue, not so much from that chart, but from this chart. I mean, wouldn't it be nice to know what a stock's going to be doing at five o'clock in the evening or six o'clock in the evening, um, at four o'clock in the morning, whatever, at three o'clock in the morning. What I'm saying is you can get a handle on these Bitcoin ETFs much better by just looking at the underlying chart here than anything else. And like, as I see it here, you can see this thing is up to 62, almost 6,300 bucks. And at one point, excuse me, 64,000. Um, and then at one point today, it was <clears throat> at 64. So this is the kind of thing where like even right now, after hours, by the way, this thing's going, I would feel perfectly comfortable buying some Bitcoin, uh, the IBIT ETF. And I actually did uh, because this is moving so well, um, the underlying for, B, uh, for uh, the Bitcoin trust. So anyway, that's all I really have to say. And then also one other thing, because of this gap, and like, let's say you're not watching, um, you're not watching Bitcoin itself, then a good way to be managing your risk is to look and say, all right, if this stock falls below the prior day's intraday low, which here is 3380, then I'm going to go ahead and sell the stock because the party's over here. And so like, let's say you bought it here, that would give you about a five and a half percent risk on this trade. Now, the one thing you can't, you know, won't help you with is gaps. If the, if Bitcoin gets crushed because Elizabeth Warren, um, you know, goes on the war path, then maybe it's not going to be such a great trade. I don't really think that's going to happen. Um, so I would just trade this according to Bitcoin and then keep a stop below the prior day's intraday low. Okay, that's all I got for you. And by the way, again, don't forget, if you didn't get that recording and you don't know how to get the recording, then just email Karen at stockmarketmentor.com and uh, she can help you out.